Hi guys, Dr. Linda Kramer. Okay, today is a video about what do we think about in heaven and what are the chairs for? Because I saw a lot of chairs when I was up there in heaven. So let's start from the beginning. What do we think about? You know, we're there for a long time, right? So what do we think about for all that time? Well, the first thing that we've got to remember is that time does not exist. So we've got to forget what hours, years, months, etc. are. So when we're up in heaven, it could have been a split second or it could have been a decade. Okay, so when I talk about how long I was up there, obviously I base it on how long I talked for. So for me to say a sentence it may go for, say, five or ten seconds, but then the other person replies a sentence, I reply with a sentence. So then you have a conversation that lasts maybe five minutes, but then you multiply that by a hundred or two hundred or two thousand. Like when I was talking to my great, 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 great grandmother up there, you know, we spoke for what I call absolute months and months and months, okay? So we've got to forget time because when we're in heaven, we do think a lot. And I don't call it thinking. I call it contemplation. I call it concentration. And I also call it perspective. So those three words are big with what we do all day when we're in heaven. So let me explain. As I concentrated on one specific person or animal, I then became that persona. So if you've got, I'm just going to hold up two pens to give you some sort of idea. You've got a guy over here and you've got a woman here, right? So you've got a male and a female. Here's me, I'm the girl. Thank you for being so skinny today, Linda. I dropped her. There you go. Look how skinny she is. Oh, come on. We've got to make this the make it laughable, sort of. Okay. So here's the girl. When she looks at this guy, she becomes the guy. It's like an overlap, but there's no separation. We become that person. So then we can look back from this perspective and look at ourselves over here. Or we could think about what this guy has lived in all his different lifetimes because when we're in heaven, we are our soul. We're not just one life like here on earth, okay? We could have 10,000 lifetimes that make up our soul. So when I concentrated on one person, I became that person. We were intermingled in the same what I would call space. But there's no space there either. Distance is extremely hard. So when I talk about distance, how far away the city was from the beach or the mountains, I base it on how long I actually walked. So, you know, when you put your left foot down and then you put your right foot down, and then you put your left foot down in front of it. So that space is like two foot. So when I was walking left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, I was cal calculating how far in a distance would have I actually walked. And that's where I say it's like hundreds of kilometers thousands of kilometers I walked while I was up there okay following people around and connecting and being their perspective a lot so I hope that helps with that little bit about what we do and think about in heaven we certainly can think about our own past okay because we've got a soul we've got all these lives Hello, you can be thinking about your husband that you had in the 1800s. Then you can think about the children that you had in the 1200s. And then you can think about your wife that you had in 600 BC. 
So it was all connected, okay? It's all connected. Our, our, our lifetimes are connected through our soul, okay? So when we're up there, we can think about what we've done and what others have done because we take on their persona. So therefore, we become their memories as well through that connection of seeing their perspective of why they did things, okay? So I want to go into my book because I've got an excerpt here about the chairs because the chairs are in heaven to for our thinking, okay? So if you haven't seen my videos before, here's my book. It's called Five Years in Heaven, The Teachings of Heaven by me. This photo here is when I did my life review with the energetic beings that I was with and this box had all my memories in it so that's the front cover this is how thick my book is so today I'm going over to um, page 100 page 100 it's called the chairs okay let me just read a little excerpt for you today okay the chairs another astonishing realization that I had was regarding the chairs on earth, we have chairs placed in corridors and other public areas so people can sit down due to their body feeling tired from walking, okay? Where I was, there was no requirement to rest. The chairs were being used, most definitely, but not for a rest, but for a contemplation and awareness purposes. Let me explain this more in detail. When we pause, we gather our thoughts and we logically process, think a process through. We come up to good ideas and decisions. This is what I'm referring to. When someone sits on a chair in this place, which is heaven, they are pausing to analyze and evaluate their own thought patterns and to comprehend the thoughts and decisions of others around them. Because what happens is when we're sitting on the chairs and we're observing all these other beautiful people around us, here I am now sitting on a chair and a, and a person walks past, I can now pause, concentrate on that person and I can become that person, intermingled so we become one because everything there is one. And then I can look at all the decisions, the life lessons, etc. that they have accomplished in their soul alignment. Okay, that's why I say solistic alignment um, at the end of my YouTube videos. Because in heaven we are aligning our souls. Okay, it's deep isn't it? I hope you're still following this. Okay. As I sat on a chair and I paused, so I'm now reading back from page 100 in my book, okay? So, as I sat on a chair and I paused, I realized that at that presence of time, I could actually contemplate every thought and every intention from every other single thing in this place. Wow. So, everything in this place was one. Everything was connected because everything is energy up there because we don't have physical bodies, right? So when I paused is when I realized that I could actually connect energetically with everything else around me, including the mountains, the water, the ducks, because I talk about the ducks a lot, okay? So we can become a duck. And then we can observe and feel what it's like because we're now inside that duck. We can feel what it's like to be the duck. We can feel our feathers growing out through our skin. We can feel the, the webbing between our toes on our feet. We can feel our beak and we can feel what it's like in our mouth. And we can feel what it's like to look up because we're only this big on the ground as a duck. Okay? Because we become the duck. Now that's just one example. You know, when I became the mountains, can you imagine these massive mountains 
far, far bigger than what we have here on Earth. So they're stretching for kilometers or miles in every direction. And you can become the mountain just by thinking about it. So we become that object, but we can still see who we are. But we can also look around to where Linda would be over there and we can still observe Linda even though she's now a mountain so it's really cool I loved it I'm going to be honest I loved it I loved that I was there in my pajamas look even on the front count look on the here there's a picture of me that I drew I drew this about a week after I woke up from my coma by the way and there's me in my pajamas this is a St. Louis, St. Louis t-shirt that I had and my pyjama pants. They were, they were um, like a light pink pants, okay, that I wore in America um, <laughs> to bed because I died um, like two o'clock in the morning. Um, so I was still wearing my pyjamas. So as we think, we can become anything we wanted. We could become any version of ourselves that we ever wanted so I didn't have to be there in just the red shirt wearing this red ring with my glasses and my hair like this if I had been a stonemason in a previous life I could then appear to be that stonemason again even though he's a male and I'm a female okay so we can become anyone we think about and that is why, guys, you know, I always like to throw in these little spanners for us to think. That is why now here on Earth, our words are so important. Because our words are only a reflection of what we think. Oh, I think I'll go to the shop today and buy milk. See how I think? So I'm actually saying it. So this is our mouth is just the rep representation of what our brain is generating now generating ha 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 what is a generator it creates energy currency frequency okay so the more we think the more we are generating what we want in heaven when we're there Okay, don't be in a rush to get there, guys, because then you're avoiding your life lessons and then you've got to come back here and learn them all again. Who wants to do that one? So stay around, okay? Stay around, stick around and learn your life lessons while we're here, because this is a roller coaster, right? That we're going through this decade. <laughs> it's a roller coaster. So, what happens? Getting back on point, we think of something, we create it. So when we think negative thoughts, like, I don't know, I'm just going to make up an example here because I don't like being negative, okay? Oh, that damn, um, that dog across the road, it barks all day. Damn, I hate it. As soon as we say that word hate, we're creating negative energy towards that dog. Does that dog really need or... Does it deserve our negative energy? Not really, because it's only doing what it knows it can do. That's why animals have handlers that are usually um, humans. I nearly said Australians then. <laughs> Crazy. But, you know, we get a pet to nurture, to learn and to grow, right? So people sometimes get animals and just ne neglect them. They don't teach them. Um, what they can and can't do so it's not the dog's fault if it's barking okay think about it that way that's perspective okay then we think of something good oh wow I'm so proud of my daughter she did so well in her report card do you know what I just created generated because that thought in my head has generated the thought Ooh, generating thoughts, okay? 
generator. It's energy. It's producing energy. So now I'm producing all this energy about how proud I am of my daughter. Wow. Wow. Do you see the difference? I hope that you do. Okay? Because the more we think positively, the more our words are positive, and the more then we're raising our vibration and we're going to get through this war that we're currently in, correct? The more we appear as heaven on earth, the more brownie points we're getting, correct? But there's a warning with that. We don't do it just for those brownie points. We don't do it just to reach, reap those benefits of heaven. Because if we have ulterior motives, which are thoughts, they know. They know us so intimately. So we always do it for the good of others. Did you notice how I, how I said the negative energy was towards the dog? It's someone else. It's the others. I said about how proud I am of my daughter. Another person. Okay? The more we create or generate energy about other people, the more we ourselves are connected to that good, higher energy. So in heaven, when we're sitting on these chairs and we're contemplating and we're concentrating on the perspective of other people, <laughs> magic occurs hope you've liked this one please comment below if you've got any thoughts like this video if you like okay talk to you all again soon bye to learn more about your solistic alignment please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.